Okay, I am so excited about this one. I'm gonna show you how I make my dairy-free ricotta for my lasagna. This is so genius. So I was looking at a lot of dairy-free ricotta recipes online and they all used whole blanched almonds and I didn't have any and I was super craving almonds. And I was like, blanched almonds? Like, why does that sound so familiar? And I was like, oh my gosh, almond flour is made out of blanched almonds. And I'm like, even better, it's already like pre-ground up for me. So to make this ricotta, this sounds crazy, but it tastes so similar to ricotta. You're gonna use two cups of almond flour. I'm using the one from Costco, but any just super fine almond flour will work. Then to give it a cheesy taste, you're gonna use nutritional yeast. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon, this is dairy free, and then a little bit of garlic powder. It'll just give it like a little bit of umami taste. Then to give it that little bit of acid that cheese has, I'm gonna use lemon juice. So the juice from one lemon. I love using this lemon press because it catches any seeds and I don't have to go in and fish the seeds out after. It's a good arm workout. Okay, then, uh, okay, then you just need water. So I'm gonna start with one cup. Maybe start with like, every almond flour is gonna need a little bit different amount because it can vary. So start off with three quarter cup of water and then add more until it's the consistency that you want for ricotta. So then you just blend it up. Okay, super blended, super smooth. I wonder, can you see it? Like so similar to ricotta. I'm gonna give it a taste. It blows my mind. It's so similar to ricotta. It's nice and smooth. I, I love this. <laughs> Here's a nice extreme close up for you. I mean, this is the best that I can imagine for ricotta replacement. You could use this for a dip, you could use it on top of pasta.